where's the market do you, and, and do you see it shifting one positively for you guys uh in terms of the broader market yeah yeah broader market the tungsten pricing yeah. where that moving tin i know tin's got that roller coaster ride and yeah, absolutely yeah look um yeah funnily enough boron's quite steady okay. you know uh, which is uh and i don't know it's because it's a duopoly that controls the price but it's you know, steadily increasing which is which is great but it's 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 reasonably steady um but uh yeah look i think um you know the, the world's um in, in a state of flux interest rates but i think we're just starting to i suppose accept the new world as if you like um i think we you know hang i won't tell you how old i am but you know i was paying 19 percent interest rate when i bought my first house yeah so was you know, I. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh you know six not so bad yeah. um but um you know it depends how obviously uh you know current generation is sort of is more used to you know one percent but uh you will know, we'll pay mortgages at a three or four percent but um yeah look i think uh, prices are, are good but they've been better but they're much better than they were from you know the dark days of 2016 15 you know so it has improved the tin price you know is tends to always have a two in front of it at least or more um and it will come back um but you know there's a there's a huge shortage of materials and and certainly i i think it's more up than that you know than down i think this is, we're kind of at a at a floor if you like um but um and and you know let's you know, want to talk about tungsten for a second well there's a fair bit of tungsten getting used up in the ukraine war at the moment so it's uh yeah and those nato nations which includes turkey by the way at the moment it needs to have a you know 30 day supply of munitions so um so when you when you're letting off some rockets that got 40 kilograms of tungsten each time then you know you chew through it quite quickly so strategic tungsten is very important um it's a, it's on everyone's list tungsten is so uh that alone is enough uh you know to gain i think government support to build mount lindsay i think tungsten i think you brought up a very good point because what's happening in ukraine is more sophisticated kind of war whereas in the previous ones that we use you, it's, it's more one-sided with technology whereas both sides now it's, everyone's throwing all the technology in there and the, uh, I, i'm i'll be i'm curious to see whether the tungsten price reacts with that or not because like you said it's been used right whereas before it's sort of didn't get used that much well look i think um uh, uh robert freeland stood up in uh, i think that was in pdac recently and talked about the amount of copper being used or uh, in these rounds these shells and all that and he, and he also said that you know about the world wanting to we focus on mpvs and and all this to try and get these projects banked and built yeah. um and yet um you know, china goes ahead and builds these and that, that, that they just want the product yeah. you know and i think you know there's potentially some flaws in our system there and and it, and, and the reason is that if you think about iron the sorry not the iron price but the the tungsten and the tin price these markets are small and much easier to, open to manipulation so mm -hmm. you know what price would you put on in your study for tin well like, gone from 50,000 to 17,000 in six months you know it, I hate to see what a bank thinks about the volatility of that that would be you know a hard pill to yeah, swallow so, nuts, yeah. so building these sort of critical mineral projects and rare earths included in that is very hard to pin down a price and that's why I think government support is pretty important uh, for building back in those projects because at some stage there's going to be a need to build this project regardless because we need we need the tungsten we need the tin um, we may not be buying it from china china's talking about shutting down the rare earths at the moment supply so there's this this geopolitical commodity saber rattling happening at the moment you know so we all kind of depend on each other but you know all of a sudden we're looking at oh maybe we want to get our boron from somewhere else or we want to get our tungsten from somewhere else or tin and 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 that's why you know building mount lindsay as a and i call it a critical minerals project and i used to say tin and tungsten but now i, got, I can add boron to that now um is important in a uh in a geopolitical sense and the fact it's 
using renewable energy, as we've said a number of times before, with hydro and wind power generation, uh, going underground, reducing that footprint, and trying to maximise the opportunity or, or minerals that come out of Mount Lindsay's. It is a true polymetallic project, and and you know the new if out. Um, project in Vietnam that I spoke about earlier is, is, is a perfect example of that. Mm. You know, they just got on and built it. They built it, we're recovering these minerals and, and that mine's going very well by all reports. They've become a very significant non-Chinese tungsten producer. That's the important part.